Hey YouTube, so I'm back again here with another video for you. Um, in the middle, I'm in the middle of installing my passenger pegs. Um, so this is not as easy as it looks. Well, at least for me, uh, I'm not even sure if I did this right. So it came with a, a shim. Uh, I don't know if you can see this very clearly here. So there's a metal shim that's uh, bent a little bit, so it, it creates tension when you're um, <clears throat> when you do this with the it's, so it stays up there. You know, it took me. Uh, couple minutes to figure out how the orientation how they go if you see on your your um, your rider peg here on the front I just basically copied how that's the orientation is on that and you know it's pretty straightforward so this is on the other side actually this is on this side um, this hole here is where your chain guard uh, chain guard your belt guard will be uh, mounted up so uh so that's the orientation so it that took me a couple uh you know i i i'm so lazy i just didn't uh, bother looking at uh any instructions on the internet or anything it didn't come with instructions got it from ebay it looks like the original hd yes yeah, the harley davidson there so that's one challenge uh the next challenge was so get i got the belt um the belt cover off they tell you to um uh, the instructions tell you to take the axle nut out uh, from the rear here to uh, loosen, I guess, the belt so that you can um, get your tools in here because you don't have really, you don't, you really don't have much room. Um, let me see where my. Uh... So here's the kind of a uh, this trick I did here because if you look at uh, okay, so here's the here's the the clearance that I'm talking about. It hits the belt, so I think that's the point of loosening the belt is uh, so you can put a socket on top of this and you know whatever tools. If you have a slim tool, you have a slim Torx bit and and you know um, in a socket, then yeah, sure it will work. I just didn't have that. You know, I just have basic my the most basic tools I have. Even the stubby um, wrench here didn't fit. So uh, what I did was, thankfully this um, this Torx bit had a Allen body to it. So, and then I just had to just put that on the socket on a box wrench and did that. So, so I was, I was doing, it took me a long time because I was doing that for freaking like 10 minutes each bolt. And I had to use a breaker using this, uh, just some, any metal rod basically just to have leverage to break it so that I can just do, start doing this with my hand. So that was the challenge that's just on one side. The other side is open, so I can just put it on there. I started with the hard side so that I can get that out of the way. Um, this is, uh, I guess, the price you pay if you don't want someone else doing it for you. And just using your basic hand tools at home. And I should invest in more tools. Like I seriously have to. So I don't have... Uh... Well, all my tools are metric. That's the problem. <laughs> because I've had metric bikes before. And then now... This is the only SAE uh, SAE um, tool that I have. This is uh, yeah. So this is the only one, a set of Allen key, and thankfully this Torx. I guess uh, Torx is Torx. So so there you go, guys. Um, if you are do trying to do this yourself, there is that challenge. I don't know if it's a challenge for you. It was a challenge for me. So there you go. I'm gonna go install this. Um, getting ready for my passenger seat that's coming in tomorrow and I'll, pro I'll probably do a video of that again as, uh, I'll also do a video of that because uh, I guess for document documenting purposes I don't know and um, for future reference for other people so I can help them so uh, yeah so that was a pain in the ass uh, laziness took its took its you know course and I didn't want to do all that extra work so I don't know if I saved. I don't know if I saved time doing what I did, but you know who cares? I didn't. I didn't have any lift to lift the rear end, so I can do that anyway. So um, I'll see you guys on the next video where I have the pegs installed, and um, yeah, we'll talk some more. Thank you for watching. Hello YouTube. So here's the final result. I got the um, the belt guard put back and. Foot pegs are good to go. This is the hard side. This is the easy side. Right here. Bolts are there. Works great. Uh, 
next step would be the air cleaner. It's going to be on another video. And I'm waiting for my seat, of course, like I mentioned earlier. So there you go. That's the first couple mods for this bike. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.